this is a new ball teaching to begin with. Look, I, uh, I learned about the new ball, art of new ball, it was, it was very late in my career. It was uh, in the beginning when Imran used to give me uh, an old ball and ask me to ball quick, just ball quick and ball with the old ball, ball reverse swing and ball quick. And, and that's what I used to do. This is my early days and, uh, you know, that's my first tour to Australia. This was Adelaide, I remember this. And, uh, yeah, and I used to, this is what I used to do, ball quick. And, and, and that's what I've learned in, in my first maybe five, six years of my career. And also, county cricket taught me a lot of this reverse swing. And uh, and, and, it, and later on in my in my career, uh, when when probably Imran left and then Akib went out of the side, somebody had to take the new ball. And I took the new ball and I started learning that. This is all reverse swing, what you're seeing. This is probably midway through the through the innings when the ball is reversing a little bit. But with the new ball, it's a different ball game. It's, it's not uh, the way you just saw. Uh, uh, you have to be really in control of the ball. Reverse swing is, is you don't really have to worry about the wrist position much. Uh, but with the new ball, you have to really make sure that you know your fingers are right behind the ball and, and your thumb. Some bowlers use it, uh, use the thumb in this way, like Wasim Akram does it like this. I, I, I feel very uncomfortable doing it like this. But I'm more of a guy who will probably keep the second, first knuckle on the on the corner of the seam just to get a good grip on the ball and so so when i release the ball it comes out of my hand quite nicely this is this is the control the ball's I get. quite well back in your hand yeah yeah, yeah. well back it's not fingertips yeah because uh, we talk whenever we talk about fast bowling we talk about west indies and west indies were big big guys big units and and they had big hands they needed they needed they didn't need the you know to control the ball so my hands are like compared to them a little smaller so probably i need i need it to be right back in my hand uh, but the the most important thing is 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 of course when you when you get into your action yeah. you've got to be in a good position Show to release that. the ball you know you some some guys like to have a bit of gap in the, in, in in between the in between the two fingers uh, but i i used to i used to keep it very very close all what you need to do is just make sure when you get into your uh, get into your action you keep your front shoulder as sideways as much as you can and and, and as you come down you you got to really make sure that you show this palm this part of your uh, uh, hand to the to, to the bowler and come down like this that's what that's what where you get the outswinger going um, and and that's the key the, the key part the major key is is your front shoulder you got to really keep make sure that you keep it upright so, as long as you possible so if you're trying to swing the ball in with a new ball what will you do with that front shoulder oh you just just sort of just just take it out of out of, out of the position a little bit earlier but you still got to make sure that you stay on the pitch don't get out of the out of the off the pitch on the follow try, through you mean try, yeah try, don't get off the pitch too early just stay on the pitch as long as you possible because by doing that you'll get a bit more bounce uh, so to just just to swing it in i used to move my thumb from putting the knuckle to just come bit 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 more on the side on the on the left side of the ball and then just break the wrist a little bit rather, rather going Sorry. this way rather going this way just go that way just a touch not a lot and I wasn't I wasn't a big in swing bowler with the new ball all I used to do is go big out swinger out swinger out swinger, and try to sort of go maybe give a scramble seam and keep the ball straighter just just snip back a touch don't you don't really need a big in swingers okay i'm going to swap now and give you an yep. old ball yeah that, that's what, easy. what we've done well it's a newish ball but we, what we've mm. done is we've scarred it okay so we've roughed yeah. up one side of that ball mm. talk to us about reverse swing Look, because that, you is, and waz were the masters this is an easy part i feel uh, in bowling and nowadays the reverse swing is 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 necessity if you don't have someone who bowls reverse swing in the team you are struggling as a team so i feel can we just look at you in action first, just to scare yeah. the life out of everybody? Yeah. Because because this is in slow mo. What happens? Look how long the ball stays straight. Then at the last minute, it dips in. That's impossible to bat against. Yeah, that you've got to understand that you know there is a serious pace behind it. And if, and if you don't have pace, you will not beat the bat. And every batsman you'll see in that they look to come onto the front foot because what I am trying to do here is I'm trying to push the ball away from them, like a like a baseball throw. I just go like that that way so the first initial movement of the ball is going away from them and what the batsmen start thinking is okay i gotta go to go to the front foot and, and that's where i'm winning and get driving it get, out here. yeah that's yeah. where i'm winning so if he goes there and the ball's gonna dip it's, it's more of a dip than a so swing give us that body action because i'm interested so this is to bowl a fast in swinger yeah. with the reverse swing so you turn the ball the other yeah, way around as we the, the the shiny side has to be on the right to, 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 to bowl that in swinger and what what's important is that you've got to get really close to the stumps 
to just push the ball away from the right hander and also you got to make sure that from 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 high arm you got to just sort of go down a little bit you got to go a little bit slingy so that you can just come down in this angle right, so, so when you opened up your left shoulder give us the full bowling action yeah. as you did for the new ball so basically it's just got to go there right there. So a little more round arm yeah a little bit round arm and and got to make sure that you just push it up fuller like baseball they, that's what they do so that's all you need to do just push it up but you need a pace once again i say you, you have to beat the bat to beat the bat you need 145 clicks or more behind it okay fantastic look at these stats <laughs> i mean even you must be impressed with these there are a few men in the history of the game who have 307 well if any 373 and 416 in one day cricket average of 23 and a half and 23.8 strike rates unbelievable only dale stain in the modern era of the game has a marginally better strike rate than wacker and in one day cricket striking at 30 so that's 43 per 100 bowls and 30 but per, per, sorry every 43 balls he was taking a wicket in test cricket and every 30 balls in one day cricket and good career best figures